Hey everybody, it's Makeup Meanery. Welcome back to my channel. So we're gonna go ahead and do another wig and makeup transformation. Here I am all bald faced -ed. So what I'm gonna do is use this NYC blue pencil and just sort of go over what I already did with my Ardell dip brow. And I like the effect that it gives. It gives like a dark blue eyebrow. So I'm just piling that on and brushing it through. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so here you can see that one brow is dark blue, one is the brown that I haven't touched yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Now I know that there are colored pencils and things for eyebrows. I know Kat Von D makes one, but I'm a cheap bitch. I ain't gonna pay for it. I already had the pencils. Now I'm gonna go ahead with my eyes. I am using the NYX uh, white base. I'm gonna be using a bright blue eyeshadow, so I want it to be super bright. Okay, so this is the Coastal Scents palette. I'm gonna go over what I just laid down with the white. I'm wanting to set that, one, because I don't want it to crease, and two, it's just easier to blend eyeshadow out. We're only gonna be using this palette. I'm only gonna be using two other colors. Next, I'm gonna go in with this blue. I'm gonna put that right above my crease and start blending it down. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start layering it to get to the brightness that I want. Okay, so now without adding any more color to the brush, I'm just blending this up towards my eyebrow. I want this to be super blended because I'm not using any of the colors. This is gonna be the color on the edge, so it really needs to be blended. And here I am going in with a clean fluffy brush to just make sure that those edges are nice and diffused. Okay, so I'm repeating that step again. I just want that color to be a little more dark. So I'm concentrating that in the crease of my eye. And again, I'm gonna blend that up so that it's nice and diffused. Okay, so now I'm just using my finger to pack that shit on my eyelid so that it is nice and bright. And I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the process on the other eye. Okay, you can see that there's very minimal fallout on this palette. I love it. I'm gonna clean that up and I'm gonna add my Maybelline 24 Hour Stay in the color 128. I love this foundation. It covers up every damn sin that you may have in your entire life. Okay, now I'm going in with the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer. This stuff is super, super heavy, so be mindful of that. It can be very drying, but I love it because it's super bright, and as you can see, it covers up every damn thing too. Okay, just gonna go ahead and set that with the Laura Mercier powder, just a little bit so that I don't have any creasing. Okay, same blue. I'm just dragging that down on my lower lash line. I'm dragging this probably a little more than halfway across. And I just want to make sure that it's nice and blended. And I'm going to repeat that on the other eye. Okay, I originally was just going to leave it like this, but I felt like it looked a little too flat. So I went in with this bright yellow in the same palette. And I'm just adding that to the inner corner of my eyes. Oh my God. Okay, I had to go in with a brush because that had me questioned in my life and it looks so much better now that it's blended out. Now I'm going in with Milani a Foundation. It is in the color Creamy Cocoa. I love this as a contour. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just contouring that big old forehead, uh, my cheeks. I'm gonna go ahead and contour under my lip and also on my jawline, which I don't do too often, but I was feeling hella extra and I wanted to be a skinny bitch. So that's why I'm doing my jawline. Okay, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Mega Jelly Highlighter. This has quickly become one of my favorite highlights. And I'm using my fingers, and that's always good because, you know what? Fingers are free. They don't cost anything to use. Okay. 
Okay, for my blush, I'm using the NYX in the color Peach. And besides adding lashes and lip, my face is about done. Okay, so on to the wig. As you can see, I pre-recorded this on another day. And I was going to go ahead and, you know, brush her out, curl her up, make her look fabulous, do an entire video on this. And all this hoe needed was a good brushing. Like you will see, I brush it out and this trick turned into another woman on me. So I didn't even have to do another video on it because I was like, all y'all gonna watch me do is brush this wig out. So yeah, you guys will see here that, look how nice that looks after just a brush. So yeah, we just gonna throw her on with the finished look and I hope you guys like it. Okay, so here is the finished look. I added a nude lip and lashes. I tried a blue lip with this and it looked hella crazy. And anyway, everything I use will be in the description box below. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.